Today, we'll be going over the best core exercises for triathlon training. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh, a medical student and GB age group triathlete based in London. On this channel, we talk all things triathlon training, whether those be running shoe or other product reviews, vlogs and training guides just like this one. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about the best core exercises for triathletes to improve their rating and training. We'll break this video down into two parts. Firstly, we'll talk about why core exercises are important for triathletes and then we'll talk about which exercise are best. Now I have done a full video on exactly why core exercises are so important for triathlon but to quickly summarize the stronger our core is the less likely we are to fatigue through training and racing. Core strength is incredibly important in all three sports in triathlon. For swimming it's important to keep our body strength so we're more aerodynamic. For cycling it's important to help us keep that aero position so we're not simply relying on our arms to keep us up. And then in running, again, it's important to keep us upright, leaning slightly forward to maintain that speed and good form. Being able to maintain a good form in all three sports as we fatigue really does come down a lot to core strength. And if you can maintain that good form, it allow you to race faster and feel less fatigued and simply enjoy the training that you're doing a lot more. Regardless of what your aim is within a triathlon, I would highly recommend incorporating some sort of core training. And this can be done incredibly easily. I would recommend to begin with two 10 minute sessions a week, increasing that to three or four, depending on what your goals are. So let's break these exercises down by muscle group. And there are three main muscles that we care about for the purpose of this video. The rectus abdominis, which is the central muscle of your abs. We've got your obliques, which are on either side. And then we've got your erector spinae and other lower back muscles. These are the three main components that make up your core and we can target all of these specifically with some core exercises. Although it's important to do a mix of different core exercises in your training. So let's start by going over the exercises for the rectus abdominis, that muscle right down the center of your chest. The first and probably the most commonly known exercise is the sit up. Now this one isn't amazing for you, but it's definitely one to incorporate. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it, because I'm sure you all know by now. Next up, we've got the crunch, another really common exercise, and this specifically targets the top of the rectus abdominis. So make sure that you're really focusing on using your core, the top bit, to pull yourself up a little bit every time. Next up, we've got the lying leg hip raise, or the reverse crunch, depending on what you want to call it. In this one, it's important to make sure that you're keeping your shoulders and the top of your back on the mat or the bench, and bring your legs up slowly, really focusing on working your core to pull your legs up rather than the momentum of your legs. Next up is the V up, simply named because you're making a V shape. Lifting those legs up, keeping them straight, and then using your core to move your body up, touching your toes and back down. It's okay if you can't touch your toes in these ones, simply try your best and work on it along with your flexibility. Next up is El Clasico, the plank. Simply make sure that you're maintaining good form in this one. It's probably the one that's most similar to that bike aero position. So maintaining this for a minute or two will definitely make you better on the bike. And our final rectus abdominis exercise is the dead bug. Lying with your back flat on the mat and making sure your lower back is always in contact with the mat. Do the opposite leg and arm all the way down and back up and keep repeating until you can no longer keep your lower back on the mat. This one only works when your lower back is on the mat as that's when you're engaging your core and really focusing on not letting your back arch which will ruin the exercise. Next up, it's the obliques, those muscles on the sides, which will help us keep dead straight, especially when it comes to our swimming performance. First up is the line twist, or as I like to call it, window wipers. Simply make like a pair of car front window wipers and lying flat on the ground with your lower back on the mat. Again, move those legs from side to side, just like windscreen wipers. A side bridge or a side plank is incredibly good for those obliques. Simply do the side plank, and once you can do that for a minute or more, then begin by moving your hips out 
and towards the ground to make this exercise harder. Toe touches are one of my personal favorite exercises for these muscles, simply because they can be done pretty quickly and nice and easily. It's a great beginner oblique exercise. Making sure that you're lifting your abdomen slightly off of the ground when doing the toe touches to ensure that you can engage that top rectus abdominis as well as your obliques. And our final oblique exercise are Russian twists. This can be done with or without a weight depending on your ability. And it can also be done with or without your feet on the floor. Simply feet on the floor and then leaning back we're going to be twisting side to side, really focusing on keeping your upper body upright using those core muscles. And finally, we're gonna talk about our erector, spinae, and lower back muscle exercises, starting off with the bird dog. This is pretty much a reverse dead bug. So we're doing hands and knees on the floor, and we're doing an alternating leg and an alternating arm. It's important to engage our core in this one and make sure that we're giving it our full effort. Next up is the rear bridge, similar to a glute bridge except instead of having your shoulders on the mat we are using our arms to lift us completely off the back. Although this may be difficult and put a little bit of stress on your wrists it's important to just keep that back elevated using those lower back muscles. And there we go, those are some of the best core exercises for triathletes. Now I would combine some of these, like I said, and do about a 10 minutes, starting off doing that twice a week, increasing it to three or four times a week, depending on what your triathlon goals are and how much time you've got. Have I missed any of your favorite core exercises? If I have, leave them down in the comments below. On screen now is a link to my triathlon off season video as something that many people like to focus during the off season is that core workout. If you've enjoyed this one, please consider subscribing to see more similar videos and I'll see you all in the next one.